Hello everyone, welcome back. It's time for new plugins and this time it's about prism and sort of a glitch effect plugin. So before the start of today's video, please remember to just subscribe to this channel and like this video and remember just to comment on what you want to see for the next plugin, maybe just to show your support. Your support means a lot to me. And let's begin. Where can you get this file you might ask? It's in the description box and you just click the Google Drive link and get it downloaded to your computer. After that, unzip if necessary and you can find this LC Prism and Glitch Effects folder. And how do you install it? Just copy this folder, go to Go, Home, Movies, Motion Templates and just paste it in the Effects folder and that's all you need to do. Restart your Final Cut Pro, go to the Effects tab and you'll just find LC Prism Glitch Effects and you can find the 8 effects over here. And let's move on to how to apply them. Very simple. For example, if you want to apply Bat TV effect, you can either select the clip and double click on this or you can just drag it over to the clip itself. So for this one, it's kind of a standard you know, glitch plus prism bad TV effect, and you can enlarge the scale of bad TV like this. And once you hit play, it's going to look like this. And you can always shrink the size like this. And yep, that's about it with the bad TV effect turned on. So if you don't want the bad TV effect, you can always turn it off over here at the inspector. And once you hit play, you just like, you know, having a reflection over and yep, you can change the size still like this. However, you can also change the mix of prism effect like this and change the angle of the prism effect like this. Pretty neat and hope you guys have fun with this effect and let's move on to other clips so this clip I can always use different effects for example DZ those kind of a DZ flashing flickering kind of effect you can change the angle you can change the shakiness like this if you mix up all the shakiness it's going to look like this and you might not want to have this kind of shaky image or shaky video and you can always change something like glint as usual you can change the tint color maybe you can change it to say green and mix up the tint mix and mix up the streaks intensity and change the angle like this and change the noisiness and increase the frequency a little bit and once you hit play is going to be very shaky so I would suggest to decrease the mix to tint decrease the intensity like this decrease the noisiness and frequency and there you go hit play it's going to look pretty awesome you can always become creative with the glint so the default setting for the glint star is you know having this star ish kind of a effect you know, on the light source and you can always change the streaks to increase the number of light streams reflecting out or you can decrease it like this and increase the intensity if you want to like just now and change the angle like this and obviously noisiness and tint mix as well and once you hit play it's going to look pretty awesome and that's about applying the effects to video if you want to apply them to titles it's possible as well as you can see there are three titles over here this is because i divide the original title into three parts with the middle portion having the actual prism effects on it and how do you apply them it's pretty simple as well just select it and double click on the effect you want like just now you can always change say the size or fine tuning of the effect on the inspector like this and you can always go to the titles tab in your inspector and change the building build out effect or you know edit the text and fonts accordingly 
and once you're done with the editing just hit play and that's all you need to do pretty simple pretty easy and that's the end of today's video hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy all these plugins please drop a comment if you have any problem remember to subscribe and like this video thank you very much bye bye